What's worse to you, a rhino or a Democrat? <sighs> one's an infiltrator, the other one's just evil. Well, which is which? What's worse to you, a rhino or a Democrat? <laughs> a Democrat? <laughs> Do you know what a rhino is? Yes, sir. A rhinoceros? Well, no. So Donald Trump talks about rhinos, R-I-N-O, Republicans in name only. Do you think rhinos or Democrats are worse? Uh, I'd say definitely Democrats. Absolutely. What's worse to you, a rhino or a Democrat? Oh, a Democrat. Are you kidding me? <laughs> that, um... Republicans in name only aren't that bad, but these Trumpers need something Democrats can't offer. Thoughts about the fact that you've never seen, uh, let's be real, the, the leader of the free world. I'm very excited and hopeful. It gives me hope and security and just stability. I like what you said. I mean, it's a very authentic answer because it's, your, it's authentic in the sense of safety and hope. I mean, isn't that something that everybody needs right now? We all need it. We do. So why, do you, why, why are you being, being emotional right now? I have a lot of grandkids and a lot going on in schools and job, the community. Good job. In the state. Hope, security, and stability. This emotional Trump supporter will go on to say, through tears, quote, pray, be strong, and support, and be involved. We stand strong. Go Trump. How Donald would or could help the grandkids, their schools, and community that she also mentioned, I don't know. I don't think she knows either. Doesn't matter. She, like those interviewed at the beginning of this video, just needs to feel a certain way. And Donald, along with other Republicans, do that for them. They won't do anything else for them, like make their lives better or easier, but they'll still get their vote. Because platforms, positions, and policy aren't as important as loyalty. Going back to this rhino take, once upon a time, there were liberal Republicans and conservative Democrats. I now question if they were seen as free thinkers. Anyways, look, I get it. Someone not going along with the script is seen as traitorous. Dems do it with mansion and cinema. Those who pretend to be moderates or centrists, like that's even still a thing. But I'm talking about Trumpers who could be benefiting from Democrat liberal policies, such as the American Rescue Plan, who wouldn't have it due to the people they voted for in the GOP, who voted against it. Every single one of them voted against it. Every single one. Texas Senator John Cornyn is now touting the $3.3 billion in federal funds to boost broadband, which is the bill that Democrats and Biden passed. He voted against it. Multiple times he was on Fox News railing against this bill. Same thing with Tommy Tuberville. Great to see Alabama receive crucial funds to boost ongoing broadband efforts. You voted against it as well. You railed against it. You called us socialist. You called us communist. That was you, Tommy. But here you are taking advantage of it. And I quote, your office was called and you said that Alabama was owed this money. How? Loyal to a fault. Michael Shore and David Schuster are coming after you. What you gonna do when they ask a simple question? Don't be like this man. Watch that video in order to prepare yourself. Or you could be like me and tell them, my architect knows Japanese.